Joining me tonight to discuss this, John McAfee, cybersecurity legend and developer of McAfee antivirus software, and also presidential candidate for the Libertarian Party. Mr. McAfee, good to have you with us tonight. Appreciate your time. The Thank when, you. When, when you hear the Digital Security Commission, what comes to mind? <laughs> uh, well, it would, more spying is what comes to mind to me. Let, let me try to make this issue simple for the American public and for the FBI, the, who clearly does not understand. These devices are computers, whether it's an Android phone, an iOS phone, or whatever. Inside is a processor, which is a computer, the instruction set, which is the iOS and all the applications that you run, and the memory in which you store your data. Now, let's take the FBI case. The FBI wants Apple to change their software so that it removes the, uh, the check for security, so that we don't check for security anymore. Once, once it has that software, it can use that software on any phone. <clears throat> but they say they only need it for one phone. So I'm going to tell the world exactly how we do this. Now, I'll probably lose my, uh, my admission to the uh, world hackers community. However, I'm going to tell you. You need a hardware engineer and a software engineer. The hardware engineer takes the phone apart, and it copies the instruction set, which is the iOS and applications, and your memory. And then you run a piece of a program called a disassembler, which takes all the ones and zeros and gives you readable instructions. Then the coder sits down and he reads through. And what he's looking for is the first access to the keypad, because that's the first thing you're doing when you input your pad. It'll take half an hour. When you see that, then he reads the instructions for where in memory this secret code is stored. It is that trivial. A half an hour. Now, I said three weeks. Why? Because if I got the flu or a cold, I did not want to have to eat my shoe, <laughs> like I said, on Neil Cavuto. But it is a half hour job. The, the, I, the, the FBI knows this. Apple knows this. And this is not an indictment of Apple. Any computer, and this is a computer, any computer that falls into someone's hands, well, anybody can do it, which is why corporate data centers keep their computers locked up, and which is why we ought to keep our own phones locked up. It's not an indictment of Apple. Any computer, any software, whether it's Android, Apple, or what have you, can be done. We can do this with any machine. And it is a half-hour job. The FBI knows this. And if it does not, we are in deep trouble. Deep trouble. Because it should know this. Now, in either case, if they don't know it, well, that's tragic. Uh, if they do know it, then they are deceiving the American public and Apple and everyone else by asking for a universal key. Mm -hmm. So in either case, we are in deep trouble. America, please get a clue here. So there are, there, there are absolutes to get this information. The question is, does a digital security <coughs> commission, which, which the government wants to do, does it complicate the process or does it get in the way or is it an avenue of solution in your opinion? Well, it certainly gets in the way. Why do you need a Digital Solutions Commission when the FBI should be able to take a hardware engineer and a software engineer and get exactly what they need? Yeah. I can do it. Anybody can do it. So, no, we don't need a commission. What we need is the truth. We need the truth. Now, I have just told all of America and the whole world how it's done. It is trivial. It is trivial. I'm sorry it's that trivial, but it is. So what is, it, what is a commission going to do here? Nothing. The FBI needs to get its act together and tell the truth, saying, yeah, we need it because we want to spy on Americans. Cool. Let's talk about that. But please don't try to deceive us by pretending we're idiots. We aren't. I just explained to you, and I'm sure you understood it, and, and your entire audience understood the simplicity of getting access to that secret code. And no one the from the government works. has reached out to you uh, in, in solution to all of this? Why would they? Okay, if they reach, well, because they you got the answers, me, would, and I think they ought to be kind of secure. But, but uh, now, but now they have the answer. I just told them. <laughs> I just told them in, in in two minutes exactly how to do it. And if they didn't get it, call me, and I will walk you well, through the steps. Well, Mr. McAfee, if you can if you can get government to work that fast in two minutes, I think you could probably be president of the United <laughs> States. <laughs> John, good to have you with us tonight. Well, and how are you going to do on Super Tuesday? Are you are you on any ballots across the country? No, sir. I'm running on the Libertarian Party. We're very slow, and we come from behind. Okay. You do some things fast. You do some things slow. I got it. John, <laughs> John good to have you with us Thank tonight. You. I appreciate it very much. Very insightful. No